In this video, we're going to use a linear approximation to estimate a function value. Use an appropriate linear approximation to estimate 1 over 5.01. Now, the linear approximation equation is written like this, and this is really just the tangent line uh, equation for, it's a general equation for the tangent line for any function. And they're basically saying in this section that the tangent line gives a pretty good approximation uh, for values uh, that are close to uh, the value that you're looking for here. In our case, x is 5.01. So I'm going to pick a value that's close to that so I can basically find the approximation. I know that 1 fifth is 0.2. So if I pick 5 for my a value here, I can use a tangent line essentially to uh, estimate what 1 divided by 5.01 would be based on what 1 divided by 5 is. So I pick a to be 5 which tells me that my function that I'm going to choose is going to be 1 over x. So I'm picking a number that's close to five, 1 divided by 5.01. Now I want to find the derivative because I need it for this linear approximation. I need f prime of a, so I need to find the derivative of this function. Well this is really equal to x to the negative 1. So that's negative 1 x to the negative 2, which equals negative 1 over x squared. We take the derivative there. So now I'm going to find what f of a is, because I need that for the function. And f of a would be f of 5, which would be 1 over 5, which is equal to 0.2. And then I'm going to find what f of f prime of a is, which is going to be uh, negative, or f of 5, which would be negative 1 over 5 squared. And that's going to be, if I take, I'll write that as negative 1 over 25, which I can find a decimal for. Ooh, it's kind of nasty. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not bad. Negative 0.04. So then I'm going to use both of those in my equation when I find the linearization of uh, 5.01. That's going to equal f of a, which is 0.2, plus f prime, which is, I'm going to say negative 0.04. And then I have x, which was 5.01, minus my a value, which my a value is 5. So I end up with 0.2, and this would be a minus 0.04 times this is 0.01. So I end up with, let's put all that in the calculator. Point 0.1996. So then I can say, what is really the value for, so let's say using calculator. Remember, we just used the tangent line basically to figure out this approximation. Now we're going to plug that this value into the calculator, see what it gives us. 1 divided by 5.01 gives us 0.1996007. Seven nine eight four, and you can see that's really close to what we got there. 